All right, so um, today is July 1st. This will be the launch day of the six month long Tiger One group build, which I'm calling Tiger 75, as it is the 75th anniversary of the Tiger Tank this year. I've started a Facebook group. The URL is in the description as well as on screen. Anybody that wants to make a model of a Tiger and share it with the community, please do. Um, I don't care what the scale is. I do want them to be Tiger One. Um, that's about the only rule, you know? So the Facebook group will have myself as, as well as a number of other people um, heavily moderating it. I feel like I dropped the ball with the half track one. Being on Google Plus, which I don't really use. So now that this one's on Facebook where I can keep an eye on it all the time, I've got Panzermeister 36 moderating it with me. I'm really looking forward to having a ton of people involved with this. I've also put out the word in the Tiger Tracks Facebook group. So we've already got uh, roughly 20 people. So my entry will be Dragons 6730, which was their early kit that came out, um, my God, probably two years ago now. I'll be modifying it to not be a command variant, just to be a standard um, later production early Tiger, so to speak. Um, and I have some extra stuff for it um, a long time ago, just for the purposes of this build, which I've been planning for a long, long time. Um, I got this Panzer Art barrel with this um, sort of muzzle cover on it. I may only use the muzzle cover and I may remove it from this barrel because the barrel is kind of warped because it's resin. I could heat it up and, and try to, to get it straight, but I think I like the dragon barrel a lot. So I think my plan is to cut this off, kind of bore it out, and then shove it on the actual barrel. I've got two different versions of um, photo etch fenders that can be folded. So I need to use these to have the front and rear fenders folded up. This one's Aber and this one's Edward. I think the Aber is clearly superior. I believe my buddy Shane Smith sent me this a long time ago. So hopefully I'll get one of those two to work and I'll probably use the PE for these as well. I have this, this isn't a really weird uh, setup that I have it, but this um, model cast in 135th road wheel W1 set, which I know there's some issues with. It was made for Tamiya kids a long time ago. see so what's different about it is that it has like the the flanges and connections for every individual road wheel so you can take off like the entire set so like on like rye fields kits for instance you can take off um like these outer wheels here but you'll still have double wheels here this allows you to remove the uh also the wheel behind that um basically the outer station on on those inner wheels so i picked this up at uh i think butch o'hare like two years ago each one of these sprues if you look at it just has i don't know how close i can get to this camera by the way because this is not my normal camera this is a webcam so uh, i'm just going to keep it back here but you've got two different wheels and these connection type things and then there's another sprue of like the flanges and stuff so I'm, I'm not sure how well this will actually work, but I'm going to give it a try. So if you haven't picked it up from that already, my plan is basically um, that tiger right there, or one, you know, nearly exactly like it. Um, so you've got these Verlata Keta, which are, you know, transport tracks. Um, these are the Freels. They're very, very thin box compared to your normal box. So I'll be using these with the outer wheels removed, with the fenders folded up and the barrel covered the thing will be just dunkel gelb um probably just the original primer on the tracks you know you'll have to give it a wash to give it some kind of sense of, of depth and whatnot but it'll be pretty much um you know base coated and, and called done because it literally is is built to be driving out of the paint booth like that's the idea so you know about to be loaded on to uh, a flat car and taken to a unit so um, please join if you want to. Again, the link is down there and right here. And we already have it going. I have tons of reference books. I have tons of people that I can contact and I'm going to try to pull into the group even um, from the Tiger Tracks group. So this goes from July 1st, which is today until the end of the year. Um, I'll be checking this every day while I'm at work, at least commenting on things if you have any questions about kits. Um, I have done reviews of a ton of Tiger kits. I also own a bunch that I haven't reviewed. So on the Facebook group, 
I'll put up a playlist of my YouTube stuff of all of the kit reviews we've done, all the, the aftermarket stuff. Um, any references you might need, you can ask if anybody has them on the group. I have a lot of really good quality pictures in the hardcover um, Tigers in Combat books that I'd be happy to scan at high res just for people to use. So come on over, let's build some Tigers.